love this on the board. Welcome to my channel. Okay, we are asked to solve for x. In this equation, 2 raised power of 2x plus 4 bracket 2 raised power of x minus 32. First of all, if you look at this, notice that this is combination of uh, indices and uh, quadratic equation. Okay, let's get it. First of all, first of all, this 2 raised power of 2x, if I use this um, law of indices that says that x raised power of m raised to power of n, that is this x raised power of n is also raised to power of n, that it is equal to x raised to power of m times n, which is equal to x raised to power of m n. If I use that idea or this law, you know that I can still rewrite this as x raised to power of m n m, because m times n is m n. N times M is still M N. I've not changed anything. So I'm going to apply it to this particular one here now. Okay, just see what I'm going to do. So instead of me to write 2 raised power of 2x, because I want to bring out 2x, just like the way I have it here in the bracket. So I want to bring out 2x from here. So I'm going to first of all write 2 raised to the power of x first. And I'll bracket it and bring out 2 outside, these 2 outside. Because using that law, if I say this can still be written as 2 raised power of x times 2 will still give me 2x. So I've not changed anything. Okay? Plus 4 bracket 2 raised power of x minus 32 is equal to 0. Okay? Having gotten this now, I can now say, let's... This 2 raised power of x, so that it's, this particular equation will look less ambiguous. I can say, let's 2 raised power of x be equal to p. Okay, let's call 2 raised power of x equals p. That is, anyway, I see 2 raised power of x, I'll replace it with p. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. That means, if you of me to write 2 raised power of x raised power of 2 here, I'll now write p raised power of 2 for this one. So p raised power of 2 plus 4 brackets. This 2 raised power of x, I'll replace it with p. Okay, minus 32 is equal to 0. Are you seeing anything? <laughs> so this is p raised to power of 2 plus 4p minus 32 is equal to 0. We have succeeded in reducing this to a quadratic equation. So we now go ahead and solve this as a quadratic equation. We are going to factorize it and get the values of our p. From there, we'll get the value of our x. But... For the benefit of those that don't really know how to factorize this wall, I've gotten that questions. Yes, please teach factorization of quadratic equation. For benefit of those people, I'm going to explain this very well. When you have something like this, okay, for you to solve this, to get the value of P, you need to get two factors of this minus 32. Two factors of it, that is two things you are going to multiply that will give you minus 32. That when you add those two factors again, you are going to have plus 4. Okay, so it's not enough for you to get two factors of minus 32. There are many of them. For example, let me factorize this minus 32. Let me bring out factors. 2 times 16 can give me 32. Let's just forget the negative sign first. 2 times 16 will give me uh, 32. But you notice that there is nothing I can do to this 2 and 16 for me to get plus 4. So even if I say 2 plus 16, it's going to give me 18, not plus 4. If I say 2 minus 16, it's going to give me minus 14, which is not 4. So there is nothing I can do with this 2 and 16 as factors of minus 32. So if I say, can 3 divide this 32? No. So there is nothing I can say 3 times whatever to get 32. So we skip 3. Let's get to 4. We know that 4 times 8 is 32, right? Now, this is what I think is going to give us results. Because I've looked at this, I know that if I say 8 minus 4, I will, go, I will get 4. Right? 8 minus 4, I will get 4. So that is where the negative sign comes to play. Do you understand? I'm supposed to make one of them to have negative sign. Because we have minus 32 here. But I don't want to put that negative sign first. Because I want, this is what we determine where I will put my negative sign. Because it means, it's, assuming I put, I say 4 and minus 8 now. 4 minus 8 will give me minus 4, which is not what we have here. But 4 times minus 8 will give me minus 32. You get? So it did not get, it, this did not work out. But if I put my negative sign here and put 8 here. If I say 8 times minus 4 will give us minus 32. Good. Then, x minus 4 will also give us plus 4. So, it means that this is the one we need. Minus 4 and plus 8. Minus 4 and plus 8. 
So that is what we are going to use now. So we are going to replace this 4P with minus 4P and plus 8P. Okay, so we have P squared minus 4P plus 8P minus 32 is equal to 0. That is because... 8p minus 4p will give us 4p. So we have not changed anything. Okay. Now we continue. We are going to group this in twos and factorize. What does this and this have in common? This p squared and 4p, what do they have in common? They have only p in common. So if I bring out that p, that p divide p squared, they are going to have only p, 1p remaining. Minus, if this p divides 4p, you are going to have 4 remaining right okay plus what does 8p and minus 32 have in common what do they have in common they have four and um, eight in common so if i bring out that eight and you open my bracket this eight divide 8p you are going to have what p remaining right then minus if this eight divides 32 what are you going to have you are going to have four right is equal to zero do you understand all right, or you can say to avoid confusion, this 8 divided 8p to give you p. Then this 8 also divided minus 32 to give you minus 4. Okay, now if you look at this bracket, you notice that we have p minus 4, p minus 4 inside the bracket. So we are going to pick 1. So we are going to pick p minus 4 here. Okay, then this p plus 8, you are going to pick p plus 8 is equal to 0. So if that is the case, that means that P minus 4 is equal to 0 or P plus 8 is equal to 0. This P minus 4 is equal to 0 or P plus 8 is equal to 0. So if we solve this now, we are going to have that our P for this one is equal to, if this minus 4 crosses equation, it becomes plus 4, right? So it means that for this, P is equal to 4 or we have P is equal to, if this plus 8 crosses the equation becomes minus 8. But you know, you could know that we are not looking for the value of p. Rather, we are looking for the value of x. But remember we said that let p equals 2 raised power of x, right? So anyway, I see p now, I'll put 4 or minus 8. So let's start with 4, okay? So I'll now say that 4 is equal to 2 raised power of x. Now let me put this in base 2. Okay, if I should do that, this is this implies that 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power of x. Now, this we can see this, so you have the same base here. Okay, when you have the same base, we create their powers. So that implies that our 2 is equal to x, or you say that x is equal to 2. So I have gotten the value of one of our p's. Okay, but before I continue, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, please click on the subscription button and your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Because for you to follow me to this level means that you actually value what I'm doing. Okay, all right, thank you very much. So we have succeeded in getting the value of x, one of it. So the next one says that p is equal to minus 8. For this one, we are now going to say that minus 8, that is p, minus 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power of x. But there is a problem here. There is nothing you are going to raise to the power of x that is going to give you minus 8 as the answer. Particular solution is not feasible. It's not possible. Okay? So that means the only value of x is what? 2. Okay, do have a lovely day and bye.